Now our problem here is to take these two balloons, which are tied off, and try to get them to expand. The theory behind this is that inside the balloons there's air molecules that are banging on the inside of the balloon creating outward pressure, but at the same time, the atmosphere on the outside is banging down on the balloons creating an inward pressure. So how fast are those air molecules going? The air molecules are going around 745 miles per hour, which is, happens to be the speed of sound. Now if we put them in this container and attach to the top a hose that goes to a vacuum pump will remove the pressure from around the outside of the balloon However, the air pressure inside the balloon remains causing balloons to expand. expand. Then letting the air back in, the balloons go back to their same size. The status quo has been restored. You can do a very similar experiment with the marshmallows. But the marshmallows are made of a mixture of confectionery sugars and gelatins and mixed together with air inside the marshmallow. So doing the same thing with the marshmallow, you see that initially the marshmallow expands as the pressure is being removed from around it. Then the marshmallow begins to deflate again because the marshmallow membrane does not like the balloon, so therefore it cannot keep the air in it. So we're pulling some of the air out of the balloon and we're going to let the air back in. The marshmallow then goes to the smaller size, indicating air has been removed from it. Well, that was a very cool video where we learned all about air pressure and, you know, air molecules, how fast they move, cool things like that. However, what might need to be explained is why did the balloon stay the same size but the marshmallow shrink? See, this circle right here is the balloon. It has what you call a non-permeable membrane, meaning the air can't get out. So it's solid, so it blocks it. The marshmallow, however, has what you'd call a permeable membrane, meaning the air can escape through it. See, there's a whole bunch of little bitty holes on the outside of the marshmallow. So when we apply the vacuum, we can actually remove the air through these holes. And that is why after we um, finished sucking all the air out of the vacuum chamber and then out of the marshmallow and then removed the vacuum, the marshmallow ended up shrinking because we actually pulled air out of the marshmallow.